Richard Reg and we're here at the Darkroom Door booth at Creativation 2020 and I want to show you our new products for the show. So we've got four new stamp sets. So we've got Warm Wishes which is a series of really nice uh, detailed flowers with some really nice sentiments as well that you can mix and match for your projects. We've got lots of labels and like the title suggests we've got lots of different sized uh, vintage labels and some circle ones and some square ones along with some little number things so you can create uh, numbers and whatever else you'd like in your labels and these are really good for putting sentiments inside these ones but also if you wanted to do like a book label here or if you wanted to do a recipe book um, all sorts of things you can use for these labels we've also got the number medley and this is a really good collage stamp set and I'll show you some samples with this one on how that one can be used. And we've also got Global Postmarks, which is one of my favourites because everyone knows that I like travelling and collecting little postmarks from around the world. So I really love this stamp set and how you can use it for your travel projects and also just for general collage cards. So we've got those four stamp sets. We've also got four new frame stamps. So here's our new frame stamps. So the first one here is Burnt Edge and so we yeah, burnt the edge of some paper and then now we've created it into a really cool frame stamp. And our quote stamps will often fit inside of our frame stamps so you can mix and match those as well. So we've got Burnt Edge, we've got Splattered, now this is a really cool one for the creatives. Uh, so we've got some paint splats around the edge there so that's really fun. We've got the Flower Scroll and this is a really nice uh, delicate design here with the scroll at the front so you could do some titles and then have some images inside of that. Um, I've also got a card here where I've stamped uh, a city scene inside of that and then you can put the city name. So this is really cool for the front of books or if you want to just do some cards and other projects. And then we've got the vintage label. So these are really great for mail art envelopes if you want to use your address on top of that. Um, but it's also, again, great for any other, pro other projects. Really cool for art journaling if you want to put some things inside of there and whatever you need for other bits and pieces that you'll do. And then we've got some quote stamps. These are our four new quote stamps. So we've got Best Things. That's a really lovely quote there for your friends and, um, you know, just for journals and things. And then we have the Be Brave one. So you can't always be strong, but you can always be brave. That's a really nice quote. And then we've got this one here, which is a really, uh, really fun one. Just act normal. That's crazy enough. <laughs> it's probably directed more towards myself than anyone else. And then we've got this one, which is a really nice seaside theme, which is take me to the ocean. Let me sail the open sea to breathe the warm and salty air and dream of things to be. And that one works really nicely here inside the burnt edge frame stamp so you can put those two together and use like a vintage map in the background or our world map background stamp that makes a really nice card then we've got four new abstract stamps now these are really fun because you can use them for mixed media for your art journals um, for cards because they are long enough to use as a border on a six inch card so because these are seven inches in length these stamps so they're really fun. This one here, if you actually used a couple of different ink colors, it could be like confetti. So that'd be a really fun one for a birthday. Uh, we've also got the script one here. So that's really fun just to add some text to your projects. Uh, this one here, like little rectangles. So that's just um, a really nice one, more of a bold design than the other ones. And then we've got the little crosses or the little X's. So that's just as a more delicate design as well. So you can layer these up onto your art journals or your cards or any sort of mixed media project and press them into some, you know, ultra thick embossing powder or texture paste um, and get some indents as well. That works really well for those. And our sentiment stamps are hugely popular. So we brought out four new designs. We've got the Celebrate and that can be used for birthdays or for weddings or for you know any occasion that you're celebrating um, you know it could be someone finishing school or anything like that that's a really um, versatile one put the make art one which is really fabulous for anyone who uh, you know is creative and you just want to inspire yourself to keep being creative 
the dream big. This is a really great encouragement stamp. So when you you know want to encourage someone to you know go for it or um, you know you've got this or something like that, imagine the possibilities. There's so many different ones, um, and then we also have the adventure um, sentiment stamp, and this is fabulous for all your travel journals, travel journaling, or um, a bon voyage card, anything like that. So and and with these sentiment stamps, you can use them as one big strip, like one long strip on your card, or you can actually just use little. Um, individual ones it just depends on how you want to use it you can mask off these and just stamp one little sentiment and use it that way or you can um, also just use it as one long strip or even just a few like three on one that's why it's so versatile so you just stamp it in any way that you want so they're our new stamp designs and now what we have is our new stencils so we have four new large stencils and we have the matching little stencils, the small stencils to go with it. So, and all of these stamps are all based off our, oh, sorry, our stencils are all based off our stamps. So this lavender stencil, uh, the stamp that this one was from was from the Wildflowers Volume 2 stamp set. So now we've turned it into a stencil and this here works really well if you put texture paste through it or if you spray through it, put some paint through it, ink, whatever you like. Then we have the grunge borders, and this is from our grunge marks stamp set. So we took some of the markings from that stamp set, and now we've turned it into a stencil. So these are really cool because you can use it as an entire stencil, or you could then use it as borders if you want to create borders for your cards or for your art journals. We also have the brick wall stamp set, oh, sorry, stencil, and um, Again, this one looks fabulous when you put texture paste through it. So then we also have the handwriting. And this looks fabulous with texture paste as well. Um, and also if you wanted to just use inking. And you could just use little sections of it uh, just to add little bits and pieces to your projects as well. So that's our large stencils. And then now we have our medium stencils. And these ones are great because these two are based off our... Um, alphabet and our numbers background stamps so you've got all the intricate numbers here and all the little alpha letters and you can sponge ink through these or you can spray through these but you can also use texture paste through these as well and that just lifts it gives it a really nice design and the other thing you could do is if you need to create a really funky um, like heading or a title or someone's name We've got all the letters of the alphabet on here, so you can then just trace around with a pen and spell out someone's name on that. And same with the numbers, if you wanted to do an aged birthday um, or even you know things like Christmas, we've got 25 down here. You can just pick out the numbers that you need, so that makes it really versatile. So then we've got these two as well, these medium stencils. Now these are great because you get the actual stencil like the out shape and then you also get the shape of the stencil as well so you've got the solid heart and the solid star as well as the open heart and the open star as well and at the top of the stencil you've got the cascading shapes so you've got the cascading stars and the cascading hearts and so you can then just sponge a little bit if you just want a tiny bit or just turn it into um, some Good artwork now i have a little sample around here i don't know where it's gone just showing it i think it's in the book here somewhere here it is so this is just a really quick one we did with the hearts so that one there that's i've just traced around it gel printed with it first and then traced around it um, and then put the handwriting stencil inside this one so that's the handwriting stencil there just with a bit of texture paste just put through there and then just sponged a few little cascading hearts on the outside so that's just the start of an art journal page you can do words in there put one of the quotes however you want to finish that up so that just shows you a little bit of how you can use those stencils so what I'll do now is I'll show you some of the samples the creative samples that we've done using these um, new products and just show you how they can be used so we've got over here these are the samples using the new stamp sets and on this one here particularly you can see how I've used quite a number of the stamps together so we've got the warm wishes flowers we've got the lots of labels label here the global postmarks and then also the number medley so all used on one card 
and it just shows you how they can all be used together to create some great cards. So this one here is using the labels stamp set and I just use quite a lot just to obviously show how you know the different sizes and what you can put inside each one. Um, so that just gives you an idea on how they can be used. The global postmarks, this is a fun little sample because I'd already used the polka dots large stencil. Um, it was already on this tag and then the global postmarks fitted over the top so I just stamped that like that. Here's another card where I've used the warm wishes and then also used the numbers. This time I've also used some of the abstract stamps down the side there as well. And it just shows you how those little stamps sets can be used. So you can purchase all four stamp sets and use them all together to create these great cards. So next we've got over here some of the samples using the new stencils. So this one here, this is the lavender stencil. This is just the small stencil and I've used stickles. So see how shiny that is. I don't know if you can get that in the video, but it, um, it just gives that really nice sparkle to your cards. And I've used some of the sentiment stamps in the background. And this here, this is a tag using the handwriting stencil in the background there. And just with some images and the diamond stencil as well. And then this sample here, this one's using the brick wall stencil and you can see I've done texture paste through there I don't know if you can see the the um, the texture on fit on the screen there but I've just done texture paste through the stencil there and then just spritzed with some ink sprays and then this little card over on the back here this is using the grunge marks and I just wanted to show it just in its entirety you can use it individually obviously but that's just using different inks all through that stencil just to create a really nice background so down here we've got the new medium stencils and these are just some art journal pages just using the different elements. So this is the numbers, sorry, the alphabet um, medley stencil, just sprayed through that. We've got the handwriting stencil there, just peeking through along with the grunge borders as well, just getting some of the border. And this is the large lavender with some texture paste. So this one here, this is using the number medley just in a few parts of that um, that art journal page. This one here is using the large hearts. So you can see the large heart there. Then I've done the cascading ones throughout there. I've used just the Be Brave out of that quote stamp that we've done. So that's just, instead of using the whole quote, I just wanted the Be Brave sentiment and using texture paste through that handwriting. I'm loving using the texture paste through the handwriting. I think I'm just gonna be doing that a lot. And this is the stars stencil. So we've got, I've just done three stars, just traced around it there and misted, we'll put the mask on. So I put the solid star on that, then misted over the top. And I've used the new Dina Wakely gloss sprays and they are absolutely stunning to work with. So I've used um, three different colors there and just moved the mask. So you can see here how I've got some other little bits and pieces showing through. Um, used some words there from um, one of the word stencils and then the cascading stars going down there. So that just shows you how that stencil can be used. So over here we've got some of our new quote stamps and I just want to show you some of these cards here. This is the uh, the Be Brave quote stamp and I've just stamped it on some painted backgrounds. So you can just do really simple nice cards just with some painted backgrounds and stamp your quotes on. Same here, this one's the Best Things quote stamp and that's just using a stencil background and then just stamping the quotes over the top and die cutting around that one. This card here is a really fun one. Um, if you've ever used our photo booth that we used to sell and you've got some of those left over, um, or you can, you know, use photos of yourself as well. Uh, so this quote is going to be really fun um, to, you know, send out to your friends or use on your cards uh, for those who love that type of humour as well. So that's a really fun sample there. And this one here, this um, the open uh, the open sea back uh, quote stamp works really well with some of our seaside images. So this is the sailing boat photo stamp. So that's some ones using the quote stamps. Now I'll show you our sentiment samples and the sentiment stamps are always fun to use. So I'm just gonna show you here. This is the one here using it as a complete strip. So you can just use that like that. You can also use it as a background. So what I've done here is I've stamped the balloons, then I've masked the balloons 
and then just simply stamped the sentiment three times for the background just in a really light grey ink so the shadow grey ink just to give it that subtle background here's one where we've stamped it onto vellum so you can still see the background underneath and that's just vellum on top and again using the adventure sentiment where I've created a background so I just did a distress ink background there and then stamped it and then laid it up with some of our cool little adventure stamps or you know travel stamps that work really well with that one so that's our sentiments and then we've got our frame stamps so you can see our new frame stamps on the board here and here's some of the new cards using this so this is where I was showing you the burnt edge frame where we've used the open C quote inside and then I've used the map so I've masked the frame and then used the map around the edge there. The next one here, this is that splattered frame stamp and I just used a couple of different colours to ink up with and used one of our quotes to go inside that. And here's some mail art, a mail art envelope here where I've used the vintage label. You can see here you've got plenty of room to write on there. This is also from the Global Postmarks stamp set and the little warm wishes down the side. So you can see how you can just still create not just cards but mail art with any of those stamps. And here's our little flower scroll and I've used the Prague stamp sets inside so I've used that image there and just spelt out the word Prague using our alphabet medley stamp and this is um, embossing here using our elegant script background. Okay so then we've got our abstract stamps and these are our four new ones here and we have you can see here this is the little scripty one and I've just stamped it over the top of a gel print. So if you've got plenty of gel prints there, you can just stamp the abstracts over the top, just add a new layer. This is also from the labels stamp set. This is a tag where I've used the little dotty abstract stamp and then used that Be Brave quote. And then we've got this card here actually uses quite a lot of the different abstracts together. So we've got that rectangly one, we've got the little crosses and then a little faint script. So it just depends on what ink color you use as to how you can label it up. And then this will layer it up. And then this one here is one of the labels from the new label stamp set. So that's a um, little overview of our new products and our few samples that we've done. So if you're at Creativation, feel free to come and see us on the booth. We're at number 2248. Um, otherwise, check out our website where all of our new stamps are on there as well and we'll continue to share videos and little bits and pieces throughout the show so i hope you enjoyed that little rundown thanks so much for watching